I moved into this area in the mid-70s. I was a freshman at UNCW, I hate to admit, in 1974. Um, I moved to the beach in 76 and pretty much never left. I just fell in love with the area. Um, never thought that I'd end up owning a home down here and becoming the mayor of Wrightsville Beach, but um, I'll probably never leave. This is, this is my home and I, I really, really enjoy it here. Um, as far as um, being the mayor, um, I, I think one of the things that I do take pride in is I've really tried to encourage people to accept the surfing community. I feel like they're a vital part of our town. In the old days, surfers were 15 years old. Today, they're anywhere from 5 years old to 65 years old. Um, professionals, children, all types of people, and they all contribute to our town. Our studies show us that many people in the state don't know about Wrightsville Beach, but once they come here, they come back. Um, it, it's a great place, but you know, it's, a, it's. I guess we would like for people to come more on the shoulder season, probably in spring and fall. Our summer's very, very busy now, but we are sort of, under, it's hard to believe, but undiscovered to a lot of people in the Charlotte area. Um, the area where people know us the most is Raleigh. And I chose to come to UNCW because of the lifestyle, kind of like the beach lifestyle. And uh, you've got downtown, you've got surfing, you know, you can longboard where you need to go for the most part. Nice. And when I visited, it just seemed like the right place. I think our town has established a reputation as one of the best surf towns in the East Coast. The surf shops are very reputable, and you know, I think a lot of people enjoy using them, whether they live here or in town. Um, I know that the surf shops employ a lot of the local kids that live here at the beach, which is a good thing. Um, certainly Surf City and um, Sweetwater Surf Shop have been here for years. Um, they're both very, very successful. We've added a third surf shop within the past couple of years of the South End um, Surf Shop, which shows you that there was a demand for a third one because I, I believe they're doing fairly well down on the South End. Um, I think another telltale sign that surf community is strong here is with, are some of the restaurants um, like Tower 7. Um, which has a strong surf, um, surf community attendance. They're another, another business that's highly involved in our community. Um, I don't know if you, whenever you go to the park and there's a big surf event, Josh is out there giving out free tacos, whether it's 500 people or 1,000 people. Um, I think they realize that those are good things to do because it builds business um, and, he's, and he's helping bring people out to, you know, for awareness. Um, you know, I, I, you know, like I said, I don't have numbers, but all you have to do is go in any of the restaurants and look and see who's there, and you know that surfer, the surfers are a significant amount of the people that are spending money down here.